Hello and welcome, my name is Dries, and today we're looking at one of the new features of ZBrush 2018 again, and this time we're going to have a look at the uh, Z plugin called Polygroupit that you can find up here under the Z plugin tab, Polygroupit. And this plugin is intended to help you make uh, poly polygroups, like the name says it. So you have your polygroups here. And if I turn my view, you can see that I have a single polygroup. And so to show this off, I've made this uh, piece of uh, hair, uh, sculpted it using uh, Dynamesh, like I showed you in a previous video. Uh, I'll have a link to that video if you haven't seen it. So you've made your sculpture of your stylized hair, and now you would like to um, since Dynamesh uh, produces artifacts, you'd like to have it clean up, cleaner. So you would like to Z-remesh it and you'd like to use uh, polygroups to separate the strands. And this is going to be something that is very difficult to create uh, polygroups from because uh, it's a very organic shape. Uh, it's going to be very difficult uh, to uh, make selections. So if we wanted to select only this strand here, see you, you'll have to make this strand and then you'll have to mask the rest like so. And then you'll have to group visible and it's going to take a long time. It's going to be very tedious and very complicated. And this is where the uh, new plugin comes in. So under Z plugin, you just hit polygroup it and a new window opens up. And this new window is an external program that works off your GPU. So uh, uh, ZBrush is very CPU intensive and it, uh, it likes the CPU, it doesn't care much about your GPU, but now for once it uses your GPU. So uh, if you've uh, lied to your loved ones saying you needed a better GPU for work, uh, for once it's true. It's not just for gaming. So what happens is now you have this external software and you can see we have a bunch of settings here. You can click help to show you the shortcuts. And the gist of it is that you select, we're going to increase the seed side. So this is just a visual feedback and we're just going to click on the surface where we want to have a polygroup. So we are going to hit here and then we are going to increase our size and automatically it will create a polygroup based on your uh, on the topology on the surface on the the um, the way the surface uh, changes uh, angles and the way it flows so it's going to try and make uh, a decision to help you and you can increase that to find something you like so about here is good and then you can hit uh, grow to grow it and you can hit shrink shrink it so this is something pretty good so we are going to put a bunch of other uh, seeds where we need we need them so for instance we're going to have this be its own thing we're going to be having this and if you don't like something you can just uh, press alt and double click on your seed and that will remove it. If you want to move, you can move your seed to a different strand. So it's a nice way to uh, preview how uh, ZBrush, um, how Polygroup it is going to uh, manage the different surfaces. If you wanted, you could, uh, so for instance, if you had two, two polygroups that you wanted to, you had two seeds and you wanted to have them be a single polygroup. You can hold having this uh, blue polygroup selected and you want to copy it to this green surface. So you 
hold shift and you click on the green surface. Nope. And then, yeah. So I don't know why it didn't work at first time the first time, but so gonna remove this. You can so if we have a different poly group, click hold shift and click outside don't click on the seed or, or, and that won't work so you have to let's delete this one you have to click on the seed you want to copy you want to um, merge from and then shift on the zone you want to copy to and you can also copy so if you hadn't created a seed yet you can hold control and click and that will create a copy so this uh, these two C's would be the same poly group a lot of information to go over uh, so we're going to place all our remaining seeds and this color doesn't I don't like it it's too close this is going to be a seed this is going to be a seed this one this one this one and that should be pretty good. So you can see it's not perfect. And if you s you select a seed, you can grow it, and you'll see that it will not uh, go over what is already existing unless you hit this overlap button. And that way, if you hit the overlap button, it will grow over the other polygons. It's not something we want. <coughs> and delete that. Do it again. And now you can see there are a bunch of holes everywhere. And there's a magic feature inside of uh, Polygroup. It just hit extend and that will create all the uh that will fill in all the seams until it meets it meets another polygroup. And once you've done here, hit apply. And now you can see it created all the uh, polygroups. So now we have these polygroups. And this is something it, I, I babbled a lot and I said a lot, I gave you a lot of information in a very short amount of time. But uh, if you think about it, we've made all these different strands into polygroups in a very, very short amount of time. And this is something very difficult to do because it's an organic shape. Um, bits and parts go over and on, under other parts. So if you had uh, something uh, group visible, and if you had something that that was uh, using hard surfaces, it would be it would give you. Uh, better results even faster. So, Alt to remove, like so, or you can just simply hit clear and that would remove everything. So if you had two, don't like this color, so if you had two different polygroups, uh, shift click on the seed and then click on the color the zone you want to uh, merge these two polygroups together like so and if you wanted to create a new polygroup directly into this an existing polygroup hold control and click and we'll create the same color so it will be the same polygroup and the rest is just simply placing your you can click and drag your polygroup where you want them and the rest is just simply placing seeds where you think you'll need a polygroup and if you just wanted for instance if you didn't want this I previously I made two polygroups here but you could just pick this one and then grow it or use the up arrow to fill in that zone So yeah, it's uh, very, very easy to create surfaces. But this is a very difficult uh, model to work with. 
and it did a pretty good job. We're gonna simply show you how fast it can go. Oop. Didn't mean to select that. Gonna make a new pie group here. Gonna hit extend. And now click OK. And now we have all these uh, poly groups. Yeah. So now we have all these strands into poly groups. But you can see there are issues. So it's very fast. It, it does a very, very good job in a very small amount of time. But we have issues. We have uh, bits and parts that don't exactly um, flow the way you want them. So there is an alternative way to. Um, to polygroup it, you can uh, using we're gonna paint our uh, seams. So we're gonna pick the paintbrush, select a white color. We're going to fill our object to make sure it's white. Then we're going to press the V key to go to black. So this only works with black and white. We're gonna pick our draw size. Our stroke, we are going to make a big lazy mouse stroke. And now we are going to um, paint our seams. So we have a seam here. We are going to have a seam here. Like so. seam here this is going to be so you're um, painting the outline of your polygroup so this big zone is going to be a polygroup then we're going to say this this now is going to be a polygroup And you can see I'm doing I'm not doing the uh, the most uh, accurate the most uh, precise job of it. So you can simply uh, hit the V key to go back to white if you want to re erase uh, bits of your uh, black stroke. Go back to black. Sounds like a Amy Winehouse song. Or ACDC. Depends on your groove. This is going to be a poly group. Like so. You can see the um, the stroke isn't the um, the uh, thinnest of strokes, but it should work just fine. The goal here is to clean up this very very rough um, dynamesh, so we want to produce something cleaner, but it is definitely not clean as it is. So if what we're doing isn't exactly perfect it should be good enough seam here where does this go uh, gonna have it go here So this takes a little bit more time than just planting seeds, but it should look way cooler by the end.
there. Almost done. This is good. This is good. Yeah, let's say this it's good enough. So now we have painted in pure black. So this is the important part is we have to paint them in black. <coughs> black and white paint the outlines of your uh, polygroups. Then hit polygroup from paint borderless. We're going to wait for it to finish like so. And now we are going to hide our poly paint and show our poly groups. And now you can see we have very, very nicely defined poly groups. See that border isn't isn't very isn't perfect, but the um, the uh, separation marks are exactly where we want them. So if we hit duplicate and then we are going to go to geometry, zero mesh, keep groups and hit zero mesh. Wait for it. There you go. And now, a bit of a horrible here. But now we have very nice separations and polygroups to work from. Now we can reproject all we did before. Clean those up. We can uh, give them some thickness, break them apart, give them some thickness, and we'll, that will give us our strands of hair to work from. So there is also, I believe, the way a way to. Um, so if you hit this uh, border feature the poly paint we've then we've done here so instead of uh, picking the um, the halfway points the middle of your your stroke you can if you hit the border button it, it will create a poly group for that uh, that stroke as well so if you wanted to uh, do it use it for job for some um, a detailing on uh, an armor if you had uh, armor detail to like flower patterns or something you wanted to sculpt on the um, on the surface of your armor you could paint the border of your polygroups and keep the uh, border as a separate polygroup as well so that way you could uh, hit polygroup it then you could extract that uh, polygroup to get thickness and you can manipulate all the other polygroups the way you want so if you want to have the separation be a polygroup or not you have that option so these are the two main ways to uh, create polygroups using polygroup it uh, using the seed method and uh, using the uh, painting your border method and that should be it for this video. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments or any uh, speci specific uh, subject you want to see covered on this channel, uh, please do leave a comment. Um, share, like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, and I'll see you guys in uh, another video. Until then, see you later, guys.